I'm going to be showing you a very easy fix on one of the main problems people find with Windows 8. The fact that there is no start bar that you can just hit the Windows key and it comes up and you can get to anything you want. As there was on Windows 7, like these ones. But, I found a very easy program that does give you a kind of start bar, which I feel is almost slightly better than than Windows 7 1 and it looks like this. It's called Pokey and it just adds this little acorn button to the bottom which should be down here and gives you this menu that you can like customize every you can customize most of the stuff in here apart from the colour. But I quite like it. And you can access the control panel quickly, programs, all these favorites, we've got the shutdown, and then that little button which opens the um, Metro stuff like this. With, and you can toggle all that stuff using, you can set it for Pokey to come up on the Windows key, or the Metro stuff. You can get rid of that little start thing down there. Um, there's nothing up there. Charm keys here. I think you can turn them off too, if you want it then it means you're just basically back to a better looking Windows 7. If that's what you want, then it's a good thing I'm here. Go away Camtasia. So what you do is there'll be a link to this in the description. Just scroll down, find download. It's completely free. Um yeah, tick that, because then that instantly installs it and puts it down there. Just click install, and this just shows you what it can look like. You can download apps from its built-in app store and put them, pin them to the bottom, which is down there. Run them instantly. There's things like Angry Birds, Instagram, Gmail, Facebook, anything you can think of, within reason. It might take some time to install because it's quite detailed and powerful. Right, now that it has downloaded, it's going to take a little bit of time to configure because it's new and that's what it's going to do. Just wait. So far, it's dimmed out, as you can see down here. Except then, when the image goes like this center thing, instead of being white, there they go like this. You hover over it and it lights up. Just click it once. As I said, it will take a long time because it's the first run. Didn't think it would take this long. Didn't when I installed it earlier. There we go. Right, and this is what it looks like. They're all rollover things. It looks very professional. You've got the App Store. You've got popular ones. Which you don't even need to open a web browser for. You just click install. And it installs it. automatically pins it down here. It doesn't take too long normally to install, but there you go. Installed. It comes up with a little pop-up thing down here. And you also there's games like this one, Angry Birds, which is the Chrome version, but they put it in their store because they can. And just to unpin things from down here, just right-click, um, just untick the box. Very, very simple. And I'm not sure what that box is. Okay, that's Facebook. Just unpin. It is quite slow, but if you re just restart your computer if you want to, it should help itself. So then all you've got to do to run the apps, just click them, and as you saw there with Facebook, it opens in its own dialog box. 
Um, you have this button here, which, as I said, looks the Metro stuff. You have all the shutdown, switch users, all the stuff you would have had in the old Windows 7 one. Plus, you've got a notification center, which you have in like iOS, which is quite useful. And now that I have Facebook, if I just log in, then I don't even need my web browser open. New notifications can come in there. I can click on them and load it in whatever the Facebook app is. You've got all apps here. It shows it's like all programs. Shows all the apps. If you click the stars on them, then it puts them down here or in there. In fact, that's recently used their favorite ones. Um, you've got this is just like all programs. There's all the files. Um, all the shortcuts you can click on them to run them and another cool thing which you have got now is quick launch control panel so all the um, control panel options in fact if I just load up my control panel then you can see everything is when it wants to load there we go all the action center, add features, administrative tools, everything from control panel is in this menu. You can even add it to favorites so it comes up under favorites. It's everything there, just click it and it launches just like you're clicking it in all control panel items. And then you've got these things down here, which is quite cool, you just click them and it launches it instant launches um like my documents music, pictures, my computer and then up here we have something which is quite cool which is the search function so if I want to search for say search the channel name then it will look for anything with in my computer that's got that on it which currently is nothing so if I search for something that is on the internet then I have on my computer then there's Messenger, the apps, files, find things in the app store. Um, this, if it's under app store, then it's on um, the app store for this program, not the Metro one. And you can also, if you right click, go to settings. You can include web results which means it can search things like Wikipedia as well or Apple sites sometimes or anything and here we've got notifications which I said to come up down here we've got um, replacements, boot to desktop means when you turn on your computer it instantly comes up with the desktop instead of the um, as it does normally the Metro stuff which is quite useful to make it seem it means you can go completely without the Metro stuff you've also got the Windows key to open it which I don't like because I sometimes even still use the Metro stuff because it as annoying as some people find it I think it looks quite cool uh, you've also got the Windows key going to the desktop well, this is, these are the controls from the desktop here and these are the ones from the Metro stuff which it Windows calls a modern UI. So I keep the Windows button off because that will always take me to the Metro stuff except for here so it can toggle between them. I think that's everything. Everything else is just like normal. It's all very intuitive. Everything's just as you would normally have it. You can still click off it to get rid of it. Just click the button, and it's there very quickly. I, I think that's it for this tutorial. Um, just before I go, um, we've got nine subscribers on our channel, which is pretty good considering we haven't been up. That date there is wrong. We haven't been up very long, but as it shows here, we only have four likes on our Facebook. 
which isn't that good. So there will be a link in the description to this Facebook page or you just Facebook slash WSD Productions. Alright, um, there will be more tutorials I will do. We've got an iPod 5 one, iPod 5 unboxing coming and I will do a almost dummies guide to the new UI to Windows 8 how to use it and and I will also do how to fix Minecraft because Nox has said he's not going to use it I'm not going to let Windows, Minecraft 1 on Windows 8 and I'm going to show you some loopholes which let you right,